gather round, ye young and old, and hear a story that before now was never told, a tale of triumph and tragedy that took place at an organic trout hatchery. An event that no one could have foreseen, the trout uprising of 2017, as grisly a massacre as there has ever been, the trout uprising of 2017. Farmer Patrick had a good life, a house, three children, and a loving wife. And for his job, he toiled ardently at his deluxe aquacultural facility. The entire facility, it was Farmer Pat's, where he manufactured gourmet food for cats. He'd breed fine trout in big colossal vats, then grind them up into gourmet food for cats. While Pat was mainly an aquaculturist, it turns out he was also a sadomasochist. He took great joy out of chopping into fish, which is really a quite specific fetish. Old Patrick really loved his chosen trade. It excited him when fish got flayed and filleted, a bit like the chef in The Little Mermaid. He loved to see fish get flayed and filleted. For years these poor and powerless fish couldn't do a thing but wish and wish and wish for freedom from their watery cage in helpless, silent, impotent rage. Then one day, in a quirky twist of fate, the fish began to change and mutate. Due to the emergence of some recessive trait, the fish began to change and mutate. First, they gained the power to fly, like their cousins, the family Exoco, had to die. You can look that word up if you wanna. They also got sharp teeth, just like Piranha. Perhaps by the grace of Neptune the god, they now had power beyond that of normal cod to take revenge on this aquatic Sweeney Todd. They now had power beyond that of normal cod. When Farmer Pat next came to his farm, he happened to have his wife on his arm, and it was Bring Your Children Day, so he brought John and Kimmy, and also little Ray. Suddenly the trout came leaping from the vat, seeking justice for the crimes of Farmer Pat, an eye for a walleye, and trout for tat. Justice would be served for the crimes of Farmer Pat. Pat went first, they made of him a dish, they gutted him like... Fish. Next, of course, they went for the wife, cutting through her like a boning knife. Then on more humans, the fishies wished to dine, so the kids were eaten up, hook, sinker, and line. They went up in a bloody mist, red and fine, as succulent as if they'd been soaked in brine. The fish disappeared then into the mighty sea, and now you've heard the story as it was told to me of fish with power from their heads to their tails, who see to the day and balance to the scales. An event that no one could have foreseen, the trout uprising of 2017, as grisly a massacre as there has ever been, the trout uprising of 2017, a day when a simple prawn could become a queen, the trout uprising of 2017, a glorious day for life that is marine. The Trout Uprising of 2017. Hey!